Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your computer to any Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi router and set up internet connection. Let's get into it. First you need to connect the router to your internet source. To do this you need an Ethernet cable. So uh, plug in one end of this cable to your internet source output like this. It can be modem or LAN socket in the wall, doesn't matter. And the second end of this cable you need to plug into the internet input on your router. Usually it has different color and it's labeled internet or WAN. So connect the cable to this port. And to connect your computer you need another internet cable and you need to plug in one end of this cable into any of these LAN ports. As you can see you can connect up to four devices. They can be access points, computers, TVs, gaming consoles and so on. Or you can use LAN switcher to connect even more devices to your router. So plug in the Ethernet cable into this port, into any of that ports and the other end plug in to your computer's LAN port. I'm using an adapter because I don't have a LAN port in my laptop. And that's it. Now the Ethernet connection icon appeared on your taskbar and you have the internet access, but it doesn't allow you to visit any websites because your connection is not secured. To fix this, you need to set up your router's network. So open a new tab and in the search bar type in routerlogin.net then hit enter and it takes you to the router's web interface. Scroll down and click on this link. If you don't have a compatible mobile phone or tablet, click here. Now agree to the terms and conditions. Just click on I agree. On this screen you can uh, click on skip if you don't want to send information to Netgear to usage data. So let's skip and click next on welcome screen. One more welcome screen, next. Uh, now you need to set up your admin password to enter the router's web interface after a setup is completed. So create your password. As you can see, you need to enter uh, from 10 to 32 characters and at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter. So do this. Confirm your password in this field and select two security questions to be able to restore this password and click next. Uh, then if you want you can uh, rename your uh, network. Uh, this is uh, your Wi-Fi network name and password but let me just stick with defaults to save time. Uh, I recommend you also to enable Smart Connect let the router intelligently select the best 2.4 or 5 gigahertz band then click next, wait a few seconds. Uh, now make sure you're connected to the Netgear network. So here is your network summary. You can print this or just click next to finish it up. Now it's checking for firmware updates. Everything is up to date. So just click on OK or update your firmware if you have something to install. Now it takes you to Netgear account login page. You can close this window unless you want to create Netgear account and now you can enter any search request. Let's say speedtest.net and run the speed test over here. Now everything works. Your system is up and running. And to enter the router's web interface from your computer now you can open a new tab, enter routerlogin.net and this time if you see your connection is not private just click on advanced and proceed to router login net this is your territory your router so there is nothing to afraid uh, from here you can manage your internet and wireless settings and also you can uh, put the router in a different operating mode so you need to switch on advanced click on advanced setup click here router ap bridge mode and switch to access point. Access point is just like a repeater, signal repeater connected by a cable to your main router. And bridge mode, uh, the difference uh, with AP mode is the bridge doesn't 
broadcast Wi-Fi, just receives Wi-Fi signal from your main router and distributes over cables. Uh, in both cases, you also can connect your computer to your router. But if you have just only one router, I'm pretty sure you need this option. Well, guys, now you know how to connect your router with any computer, how to set up, and this works with any Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi router. So I hope this was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below, and be awesome. See you in the next videos. Bye, guys.